Hi guys, I just thought I'd get started with a few videos to help you out. Um, so this will be how to book appointments. There are a few ways that you can book an appointment in Practica. The most simple way is to select your appointment time, click and drag for the duration that you're wanting. So you can click and drag. It will bring up the patient search screen. Here you can find your patient. Um, so you just type in what their last name is or their first name, however you want to find them. Select the patient and then you can just press OK. You can leave an appointment note here if you want to. Um, you can leave your patient response if you're wanting to do that or if they're booking for the future, I would just leave it blank if there's a treatment type that you'd like to assign to it and any icons that you would like to assign. When you're happy, you press OK and then you go ahead. So again, that process is click on the appointment book and then you can drag it if you would like an appointment that's longer than 15 minutes. Click, drag and then search for your patient. Beautiful, any appointment notes that you're wanting, treatment types, custom icons, and then when you press OK, that appointment has been booked for you. The second way that you can book an appointment, which is really handy if you need to look at the patient file before you find an appointment, is by clicking on this Add button here. So in your On Hold bar at the bottom, you have an Add button. This will create a new appointment on hold. This is really handy for if you are on the phone with a patient and you don't know how long of an appointment you need to book for them. You need to review their file first. So first thing I would do is find their patient file and select it. And then you can click on the link here for their patient file. And then you can review their history. So you can see what have they had done recently. You know, check out their treatment plan, check out their charting, any clinical notes that the dentist has made so that you can know how long of an appointment you need to book in for them. When you're happy, I would just select, okay, we need to have a 45 minute appointment for this patient. Again, leave your appointment notes here, anything you want down here. You can select a particular provider if it's essential that they see the, that same provider. And then, okay. Then all you need to do from that point is click on it and drag it to an appropriate spot in the appointment book. So again, that process is on hold bar, click on add, find your patient file, if you're wanting to, you can review their patient file to look at their history so that you can get a bit more information about the appointment. Select your duration up here. You can assign a provider here if you want to. You can leave this blank, that's fine. And then press OK. Now this one's come up with a warning for us saying this patient is deceased. We can't create an appointment for this patient because they are no longer with us. So that's fine. Let's find another patient file. So we'll click on add, find our patient file, get rid of our warnings, look at the patient file, find out the information that you need and then create the appointment. I would like to book in a 75 minute appointment. As you can see, we did not select a provider. So what happens when we drag this to the appointment book, it will just change color depending on who we book with. We can drag and drop that appointment to move it if we need to, and that's all done. 